I want is irrelevant. This shout was used once before, was it not? And here we are again. Hello viewers, Brad Proprietor of Barstool Entertainment doing another Skyrim video. This one takes place after Skyhaven Temple and the Dragonborn learns of the shout Dragonrend and has to go back to the Greybeards and persuade them to teach him or help him learn this shout in order to defeat Alduin. Well, this has kind of a surprise to it, and you find out the guy who's really in charge of Greybeards, well, it's a dragon. So let's get on with this adventure and learn Dragonrend. You have to return to the Greybeard's temple and find Angir and go through a lot of exposition and talk in order to finally get to a point where, you know, you can learn Dragonrend. I'm going to do a lot of fast forwarding through this video because you have to go through the exposition. You can kind of click through it quickly if you want, but it's the same for everyone. And how you interact with the Greybeards, it depends on ultimately how long you want to take and you'll get through to the final end. So like I said, I'm going to do some fast forwarding. Sky above, voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Again, how you interact with Angir is up to you. Eventually, you will get to a point where you go to the court yard and they teach you clear skies in order to work your way up to the point of the mountain and find the guy who is ultimately in charge. Again, you can go through a lot of exposition and talking. Uh, you want to get to the point where you are going to learn clear sky. And this is where we go to the courtyard. Look. Far. Court. Your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. the summit. If you don't use clear sky along the way, you can kind of use healing and healing potions to walk through the razor snow or whatever that is going to cut you up. It's a better way to just use clear sky and work your way up the mountain. Look. The journey is the same for everyone, so I'm just going to fast forward up to where you meet Parthumax. I used Fire Breath because Parthumax will want you to use your Thum, and it's either Fire Breath or Frost Breath, and he will teach you how to use it more efficiently, and it will be much more powerful. 
but it's a lot of talking and dialogue, and I'm going to just fast forward through it to where you enter the Magic Rift. If you don't already have the Elder Scroll, which you need in order to breach the Magic Portal, you can go through several missions after this in order to get it. At level 20, you can go to Septima Signus out on the ice flow and look for the Ogma Infinium, which is what he wants, and you will get the Elder Scroll by default. Time shudders at its touch. There is no question you are doom-driven. Kogan Akatosh, the very bones of the earth are at your disposal. Go then, fulfill your destiny, take the scroll to the time wound. Do not delay, Alduin will be coming, he cannot miss the signs. You act as an observer to this, and there's a battle between these guys and the dragons and Alduin, and they banish him through time. I'm going to fast forward through this because you just witness it. Everyone goes through it. Once you witness this battle, Alduin comes and you learn Dragon Rend. Now you've learned Dragon Rend. Um, yeah, no need to go through this battle. I'm going to fast forward and get us back to the main storyline. You watched Alduin banished through time. Now you have to fight him. This is where you need to arm Dragon Rend, and Parthumax will help you out in the battle. Better to be heavily armed and armored because Alduin is a very, very tough opponent to beat. And yeah, I would say get to at least level 40 before you actually take on Alduin because he can be, again, very tough and use lots of healing potions because yeah, he will take your character down very quickly. Zoklat, 
I cannot be slain here by you or anyone else. You cannot prevail against me. I will outlast you, mortal. And this is the twist. You cannot beat Alduin on the mortal plane. And you have to either talk to Parthumax or Esbern or Agnir to find out how you can finally beat Alduin. And I talked to Parthumax. To be honest with you, you will go through several other missions and opening up Throat of the World opens up a lot more for you for another mission. I'm Brad, proprietor of Barstool Entertainment. If you found this video helpful or enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up button, leave some comments. I always try to respond to comments. Um, if you like this type of video, I post four videos a week based on video games. Hit the subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be informed when I post videos. Thanks for watching, thanks for subscribing, and thanks for stopping by.